And again, I had a fella call me about uh, bent some shift forks in a Hayabusa engine. Um, I'll show you the easy way how to uh, get to those shift forks. So long story short, come with this here, with this motor, get to the back of this motor. Can you see that motor on the back of there? See that? Okay. First off, this is the top case of your motor, okay? You see where I'm pointing at these bolts? You take these bolts to unhook the top case off your motor. So your motor is sitting just like this when you pull it out of the bike and drain oil out of the thing first, but take your bolts out, all these bolts, and take your covers off because you're gonna have to split the engine case. So you're gonna have to take all your, your alternator cover, generator cover, rather your oil. Um, you're gonna have to clean the motor off because the case is gonna have to get split. So imagine that the motor sitting up just like that and you've taken all the bolts off, you've taken all the covers off, and now you gotta flip this motor over. So come over here, turn over to the bench right there. Now, so just imagine, now you flip the motor over, you gotta take the oil pan off the motor, you would clean everything off. Of course, there's an oil filter and a pickup here. You clean all of that stuff out, then take all your bolts out. So imagine, you, these are, your lower motor bolt. So you, boom, you have unhook, you taking all of them out and your crank would be sitting in here in the bottom. All right, you, then you come right here to where your shift shaft is. This is for your shifter and the shaft. You unbolt and pull that out. And let me, Pull that out. Take these two little screws out right here. Take this retainer out. And now, once you got all of that done, you got all your bolts out so you can split your engine cases. Take your case off. Now your cases are split. And you can see there's your shift fork. As you can see, I've been in this motor. But here's your shift fork sitting right here. And now where I took that shift shaft out, where I took that shifter shaft cover, you just pull these out. And now you can take your shift forks out. You can see I've already moved, removed the other two shaft forks from here already. But the shaft, see how that shaft goes in there? And your shift fork is actually sitting inside the motor in those shafts. And that's it. And while you got it sitting here, now you can check the bearings conditions. These are for your crank, your crank bearings. So you can see all them is good. But you can check the condition of that. And this motor, your motor does not have to be part. Now here's your transmission sitting right here. So... You can simply get your transmission, check your whole transmission, because it's sitting right here ready to be taken out also. So that's how easy it is really to change the shift forks in a motor. It's not a big deal. You just have to have the place to do it, some room to do it, and, and, and a bench once that motor's set up. But that's it. Um, like I say in all my videos, uh, hope that helps somebody out. It was, that's easy, fast, quick, simple, but uh, anyway, that'll give you an idea how to do it. Bye-bye.